All right, guys. So in this video, we'll look into function called as, which is a simpler function comparatively to the kind of functions that we have seen, is null and is not null function. Suppose you have a database over here, right? So I'm not sure I'll be able to create a table over here, but if I create a virtual table, something like this, there's a table over here, right? And that table consists of multiple columns over here and let's say there are eight to ten columns and you need to find out that which are the following columns or let's say if if you have the prior knowledge of let's say a certain column let's say uh, payment id is having certain values which are missing over here but the records are like close to twenty thousand. obviously you'll not be able to scroll down the entire order up and down over here and you'll not be able to find out which orders or which are the or i should say order id Let's say this is my primary key over here, which order ID is having payment ID not entered over there, right? So I need a function which is going to reflect the entire data in which either uh, the null values are there or the null values are not there of a certain column over here, right? So this is where is null comes into picture, right? Is null and is not null. Is null obviously is going to filter that data out, filter out the null data, whereas is not null is going to filter the not null data that is where there is no or, or I should say where there is a proper entry and there is no null value over there right so it's a very simple function very simple syntax over here the syntax goes something like uh, this that if I let's say if I put in a text box over here it goes like select star from your table name let's say the table name is employees right where a certain column let's say column one is null that's it this is what we need to go for so this is null which is the highlighted portion on your screen is that particular function which is going to fetch out filter out the data which is just the null value this way column by column we'll be able to find out that which are the values which are not present in a certain column let's see that in workbench all right i'm there on the workbench now let me use this new dummy database that I've created, which is Accords. Let me uh, go for the select star from the table created is modules over here. Let's say modules, enter, and I do this. So we can see that there are certain cases where there is no entry over here. And we can see that this is, we, we should be able to fetch out this data, right? So this is purposely created for explaining these two functions over here. So let me start with this. I go for select star from modules where let's say i go for course duration course underscore duration is null all right so it's going to filter out that data which is having the course duration as null so i'll in the uh, suppose that this particular table has around thousands of entries over here and you can see where the null value is there that is where we are missing the entry in the course duration right if i replace this with let's say not null i immediately shift to all the cases where the values are not null, right? Now let me go for another thing. Let me first put in the entire table over here. So let's start from modules, right? Now, if I go for in the same query, I'll just change this where course mode, I'm going for the fourth column over here. As you can see, there are two entries which are missing over here. Course mode is null. Now, if I enter this, there is no data which is being shown over here. But if you look at this particular query, if you look at the table over here, we can see that there are two missing values over here. But when I run this on this, those two missing values rows are not coming up. Reason for that is that these are not null values. These are empty spaces over here, right? So if it is being created like this, and why is this being created? Because when I insert a value, right? When I insert a value, if I go for insert, into uh, let's say the table is modules over here and i go for values right i go for values and i go for uh, let's say a certain course over here let's say gen ai gen underscore ai and i go for the entry for the rest of the other mod uh, other variables over here let's say 25 and then we go for uh, 22 months course and now if the fourth one is course mode and if I go for something like a quote over here I put a quote but I do not put anything over there right and if I close this and I still run this now this will not be treated as a null value this will be treated as an empty value over here right so if I run this the as you can see it has the query has run 
now if i look at it let's say select star from modules right and if i run this i can see that there is a course over here for gen ai and this is space whereas if i run something like this that if i go for the same thing that is if i go for let's say modules and i define the columns in which i'm going to enter my entries over here for example course name then we have number of students and then we have course duration right and i close the parenthesis and i purposely do not provide any value over here and if i run this right this is also run and if i look at now if i select star from modules and run this query i can see that now there comes a null value because now i haven't put any value over here so if had i put in something like this and given the fourth name fourth column name over here as well which is course mode and if i do this this will not be treated as a null value because i've instructed sql to put something over there but that something is nothing hence that particular part is absolutely blank as you can see now that you can have both of them right jenny i got entered thrice but that is not a problem it's a demo data so here the first case in which i have not put this quotes and i have not put the fourth fourth variable name this came out to be null and now it's not null so it'll work only on the null values is null and not null functions over here right please remember that let's move to the next video